This is Pretty Boy Larry Sharp, and I'm telling you, right now you're watching Completely Damaged. Welcome back, Damage fans. I am with the one and only Maria. Maria, thank you very much for your time. Oh, thank you for having me. Thank you so much. Sure. Now, what inspired you to be to get into the wrestling business? Because I was always a fan, and when I saw that they were having a diva search, which gave, which gave girls like me, who had never wrestled before, had never heard about the independent wrestling scene before, a chance to get in the ring and see what we could do and have some fun. So it was excellent. Now, um, what were some of your favorite moments while in the WWE? Um, I would definitely say WrestleMania was one of the, my favorite moments. Um, the, the Playboy Mania match yeah. that I did, um, that was a lot of fun. Also winning the Slammy, Slammy of the Year, that was great. Um, the number one contenders match in Las Vegas, um, the dice match, that was amazing for me. So there was a lot of great moments. Now, what are you up to these days? A little bit of everything. If you go to CodeRedDVD.com, you'll see all the DVDs that I've been hosting. It's kind of like the red-headed Elvira. Lots oh, nice. and lots of fun. I do, I'm do. i doing that. Also, um, I'm sword fighting. And it's... <laughs> yeah. Sword fighting. I'm sword fighting. I, I wield an axe. It's oh, awesome. Yeah. Yes. Um, and actually, you can go to fantasywomenbattles.com and you can see all the information about that. So those are just a few things. I'm writing, I'm doing a comic book, blah, blah, blah. So now, What's the adrenaline like from being in the ring in front of millions of fans to holding an axe now when you control that? Um, same kind of different uh, you know, adrenaline rushes. Yeah. It's uh, very interesting. Yes. Okay. Uh, are you looking to get back into the WWE in the future, maybe, or wrestling in general? You never know what's going to happen. I um I work for Crossfire Wrestling down in Nashville, okay. and um, right now I'm the creative director of the ladies' wrestling division. So um, I am very involved in wrestling still, just not with the WWE or the TNAs or the Ring of Honors. I'm with Crossfire, and we're hoping to be just as big. Definitely. Well, Maria, first off, it's an honor and a privilege to be next to you right Thank now. You. Thank you very much for your time, okay. and uh, enjoy the rest of your time here. Thank you so much. I will. Thank you. All right, guys, stay tuned to more completely damaged action. Say hi to John Cena. Hi. Tell him, you can't see me. Go ahead, do it. Can you do to John Cena? <laughs> All right. Welcome back, Damage fans. I'm with the one and only Simply Divine. Thank you very much for your time. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. Now, um, what inspired you to become a professional wrestler? The fact that all the girls at the time in the 90s were my size, and I figured, hey, if they can do it, I can do it too. Um, any uh, favorite matches thus far in your career? Well, I had a match with a girl named Desiree Clash. It was actually last weekend. Um, it was a tag match for the DWF um, Diamond Dial Championships. And um, I won, but she is an opponent that I never really had before. She's the same size as me, but she can wrestle a whole different style. And, and I really liked it, so it was pretty cool. Now, were you ever in the ring with someone that maybe, you know, wasn't going at the same pace that you were going and uh, you, w you didn't want to hurt each other, but it was one of those things where the communication might have been off? Yeah. Um, a lot of times I work with a lot of people that aren't seasoned. And, um, but I just take my time with them and slow down. I try to do some rest spots and things like that just to talk to them. And, and, and beforehand, just try to see exactly what they can do and go at their pace so that they won't offset me. Now, um, if people want more information about you, like where you're wrestling and uh, other things, uh, where can they go? Okay, they go to Facebook, the Empress Simple Divine page. Um, next weekend, I'll be in uh, Ellendale, PA. Sorry, Ellendale, Delaware. And I'll be working for PPW. And I'm wrestling a secret opponent. I don't know what it is. I think it's a man. I don't know what man what this is, but I think it's a man. I'll be also working with Arena Chicks, arenachicks.com. Um, and I'll also be facing Naya at the WXWC4 Arena on um, November 5th. So Casey Carlisle is also one of my future opponents. So I'm, I'm, I'm doing a lot of good things here in 2011. So you guys got to check me out. No, definitely. Now, when you were a rookie starting out um, to now, what were your thoughts going into the business then and wrestling now? Were you nervous back then? or? I wouldn't say I was nervous. I was focused. And now I'm even more focused. It's, it's a, for a female in this business, it's definitely harder because you, you have two images. You have a diva image and a worker image. And a lot of times, especially right now, the diva image is more acceptable. And it's harder for girls like me that do legitimately work 
to get out there and get our face out there, except for if, you know, we're half naked. So, um, but other than that, I just want to work. I'm excited about the wrestling business. I think that the wrestling business is going to upturn, even though, you know, the big companies, the ratings are down. Indies wrestling is coming back up. And I really think that um, women's wrestling as a whole is going to be big in the next year. So I'm glad I'm a part of it. It needs to get brought up because the only thing people see on TV is the bra and panties or, like, you know, little things right here. And they only have, like, 30 seconds when they really have talent. And at the Indies or TNA, they get to see the women showcase their skills, and that's what's really lacking. And people don't know that there really are wrestlers out there that can bust their ass and really show fans that they can do just as better as the guys. Right, and then as you can see, I have a group called The Empire, and I'm right here. So I'm right along with the boys. I'm, I'm rough and tough just like them. I'm pretty at the same time, and I can work. And I, can, I, I think that girls like me need more indie companies to push us forward instead of just looking at our bodies and looking at what we wear more than looking at what we can actually do. We can wrestle, we can fight, and we, we can promote as well. So just believe in us. Well, fans, follow Simply Divine and get out of her way because she's on a mission. Back to you guys. Welcome back, Damage fans. I'm with the one and only pretty boy Larry Sharp with his Nigerian nightmare. I'm telling you, the Nigerian nightmares are the best thing that's happened to the Monster Factory since Bam Bam Bigelow and King Kong Bundy. They've been laying low for a while, but now we're going to start living life and living large and loving it. Keep your eyeball peeled for the Larry Sharp and the Nigerian nightmares. Guys, with pretty boy Larry Sharp beating these savages, who can stop them? Absolutely no one. I know I wouldn't. Ferran Derry here. You might know me from WBCB Pro Wrestling Weekly on every Saturday from 12.05 to 1 o'clock, also online at WBCB1490.com. But I'm also part of the Completely Damaged crew with RC. You can check out my blog, Derry's Diatribe, at www.completelydamaged.com. Remember, don't keep it neat, keep it completely damaged. Hi, my name's Ferran Derry. Uh, you might know me from Pro Wrestling Weekly on 1490 WBCB and online at WBCB1490.com. I know him as Brian Gumbel. Tune into WBCB and check out. That's a lie. He, more, he looks more like that uh, Yuki Washington guy. <laughs> How the heck many lookalikes am I going to? What in the fresh hell is, yeah, this is, this is definitely blooper reel material.